Do you have nice. a black sweater? Yeah, it's a mirror fit. Uh -oh. Anyways, so these players are competing for $5,000. The loser will still win $2,500. And a tornado card. <laughs> Just kidding, but if you haven't seen the sneak peek, you can check it out on a channel near you. Just type N-I-C tornado. All right, we're going to be jumping into this one. This is the final. The it is creme the, de la creme. It is the finals, the creme brulee of the match. The, the egg and cheese. The croissant. The croissant. Well, today we had some good chocolate. Apparently it's, uh, oh, what's the word for bread? It's not called a chocolate croissant. It's like chocolate bread. Someone corrected me on Twitter. But it looks like a sloth sometimes. We're going to stop with all the uh, funny remarks. We'll try to take this last one serious, but I can't promise too serious because it is the most ridiculous duel. <laughs> ridiculous. Ridiculous. Everyone in the crowd, I don't know if you guys get that feed a little bit, but with our noise-canceling headsets, it's like I can feel the vibration right now. It's like it's just pulsating. Someone's going to get a collapsed lung out there right now. There is so much energy driving through the hearts and minds I can of feel the, the excitement from my seat right now. It's a magnitude 4 earthquake. Is that what that is? Exactly. Oh, pan au chocolat. Chocolate? Okay, yeah. I got confirmation on that one. It's a little <laughs> butchered it a little bit, but thank you guys for tuning in. So they're going to be very ready soon. They're just setting up the decks right now. And based on that cheering, it looks like they're going to be ready to jump into a match very soon. Your brain is is losing it after so much streaming. We have been streaming for a total of 20 hours these past few days, but jumping into the first match of the final match for best Bring of five. Bring that up on the screen. No, not them. I want to see the match. No, no, no. The, <laughs> the game's already starting. <laughs> Ice Spirit going in counters the Fire Spirit oh wave. Oh my gosh, it's your it's your favorite card, the Furnace. You've said before that you would mirror rockets just to, to demise its existence. Let's I, see what happens here. I hate dealing with the Furnace just because you cannot ignore it. I don't think we've seen Ming using a Furnace, and what's Surgical going to do? Now, what's really annoying about the Furnace is that if two Fire Spirits get through, it does 338 damage. That's more than a Fireball. And it's just so annoying to deal with. Yeah, if you get a miner on the tower and then a couple spirits come in, you just basically got fireballed. And it can happen again. Fireball does 276. You Two basically just got mirror fireballed a level higher. Actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 all right. Look at that, we haven't seen a Royal Gent this whole play. He yes, punched Royal down the Giant's tower to counter comeback. that. Oh man, the lightning spell goes down. The Royal Giant is really strong and underappreciated right now. There is so many different cards you can use right now in the Look meta. It's a great time to be alive. Oh, look at the Princess misses the Fire Spirit. Someone get her eyes checked. <laughs> so that Royal Giant did so much ship damage. With the lightning, it did over a thousand damage. Not even in overtime yet. Wow. So Ming is at the top and then Surgical Goblin being the boot player on the bottom. This is a very heated match. Yeah, you could look at him right there on stage. Both looking just kind of calm and collected. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. One of them playing on the phone and one of them playing on an iPad. Surgical playing on the phone. We used to jump into that way more earlier on in the weekend here. You were analyzing the shorter throw on the phone versus the multi-tap ability of an iPad and the precision that it offers dragging versus tapping. <laughs> it's actually a very real strategy. Yeah. So that Archer's going in, it does take a lot of damage from the Mega Minion. It's not going to be enough. The Maybe? Knight's good for what? Two waves of fire spirits and a swing. That's about what he gets done right there. Very, very tanky. Oh, takes he, out that furnace. That for was value. beautiful. Now, and he's getting hit by both towers. Now Ming does have enough elixir for a lightning. Is Surgical going to plant an inferno that will be lightning very soon? Hoping to see that very soon. Right there, right, when it reaches tier 2 damage, takes it out. He but knows the Mega, the Mega Minion. Minion's out of range, though. One hit on the tower. He only, the Royal Giant only got one hit on the tower, but that's quite a bit. This is scary because he's two lightnings at 346. When you double that, that tower will be down. But the problem is, can Surgical get it down to one rocket? I don't think so. Ming goes in for that log right there. Does that guard gonna get one stab in if it gets does not go through? Ming playing a roll giant very conservatively in the back. Listen to that crowd. You can hear it roaring right now. People are getting hyped. The Inferno Tower is early, but he just has to avoid the lightning spell, but it still reaches. Okay, it was a little more than one, uh, two lightning spells. It's two lightning spells so and then that chain right, right now, there. Right now, 363 health. That tower will not be able to be lightninged in one shot. Surgical going in with that minor play. We haven't seen Surgical use a rocket yet. He's just good gaming. He Going in right there. He Lightning knows. for 17 health. And then he goes in for the, the log, log for the win. That's going to be Ming game one. Surgical unable 
to execute the rocket deck the way that he has been the entire weekend. It looks like the just with the skill cap or skill level of these players, they know the I'm card worried. rotation, their card count, card elixir. So Surgical Goblin knew that there was not a possibility for him to take out the towers. So that's why he said good game a little bit earlier. Do you know why I'm worried? Why is that? Because Surgical couldn't execute a rocket deck against that Royal Giant deck. And they're starting another one. But Surgical's second deck we've seen him play is an expo deck, which would be even worse. Oh, that Royal Giant does hard counter How, this. how is he going to make this work? Let's see. It looks like Ming formulated this deck specifically to counter Surgical Goblin. <laughs> Not a certain card, a certain player. Yes. <laughs> is there a hard counter for Surgical Goblin? <laughs> To counter Surgical Goblin, you need a Roll Giant. For a positive Elixir trade. Going again with that Roll Giant. Surgical Goblin. It, it looks like he's got the same damage. thing. Let's see if Surgical Goblin adapts to this. Maybe he just needs a few more Royal Giant pushes to master how he masters uh, countering the Lightning spell. That that, is that far enough? We'll no. See right there, it does oh, stun oh, it. The wow, Royal it, Giant he gets avoids through the tower, one though. hit. He has to put it all the way Dude. in the middle at the water to avoid the lightning on the tower. Two hits on the tower with that roll giant, but... Oh, Ming, I don't think Ming meant to put his furnace there. He did try to use... He did use it to counter the miner. Oh, what was the oops for then? Maybe he meant... Maybe he thought the lightning would hit the tower. Look at the value of the rocket right there. Wow. And that's just the kind of break that Surgical needs. I think Ming might have thought his lightning was reaching that tower. Just look at the concentration of these players right now. It's getting very heated. 28 seconds until double elixir overtime. Ice Spirit counters the Ice Spirit by absorbing that. It's going to get taken out. Splitting archers. Surgical going in for that classic princess play in the front, dealing 140 damage to the tower for slow and steady chip damage. He's, he's a good bit ahead, but with the Furnace and Royal Giant on the way. And the lightning in route, what are you going to do here? Because that's going to be a quick catch up for Ming. Just so insane. Surgical is forced to use the knight to just absorb the fire spirit. Just because they, even one fire spirit deals 169 to the tower. So 688, he just playing that rocket back and forth. And even though when he sees the royal giant in the back, Surgical is able to launch a rocket, Ming knows that Surgical's only counter is the inferno. And if he puts his royal giant in the back, he could have lightning ready when it gets to the bridge. You can play the, the Royal Giant slow because they don't have anything to take the action when they see it. Another Royal Giant back in rotation. Yeah, that last one was played in the back so long ago that he's already got it back. Surgical doesn't even have an Inferno Tower to counter this, so he is forced to use the log to push However, it back. However, Rocket, and they're going into overtime. Let's see if he can defend 800 health. That yeah. top left tower is within Rocket damage, so this is looking like bad news for Ming because he does not have enough push to reach the tower. Now Inferno. Six seconds left. Knight, maybe. Mega. Lightning, 396. And that is wow. going to be the game for Surgical using the same deck. So Surgical just learns from his mistakes in the first one, comes back, barely beats the Royal Giant. What do you do if you're Ming? Do you now, try it one more time? A post-game analysis of that where the first game was when, remember when Surgical planted it one tile too far to the right? So the Lightning got the Inferno Tower and that Arena Tower. Yep. Whereas he adapted on the fly and learned from his mistakes very evidently in this game. We haven't seen too many Royal Giants, but earlier we saw Surgical within the same round or same so match. They are in the game right now? Adjust an Inferno Tower for a Lava Hound mid-match and then ended up winning that one. Yep. That one took a full round or a full match for him to adjust, but he eventually got it down. Just so insane right now. The They're just keeping these decks. They both think they could do it. The skill of these players right now, just how adaptable they are with everything, just constantly adapting to each other. They're both very confident playing the same deck. Ming thinking that Royal Giant can counter, and Surgical thinking that the Rock can bypass everything else. Royal Giant's coming in. He's mixing it up this time. The Inferno Tower is on the wall. It's going to draw the Lightning Spell out, and two Fire Spirits are going to hit that tower for the strength of a Fireball. Stronger than a Fireball. 338 damage the plus mirrored Fireball. The Mirrored Fireball. The Mirrored Fireball. Oh, that's, that's tough. 1,200 left on his tower, and the Miner is more like a full game commitment to take that tower down to rocketable level. Again, he needs to absorb those Fire Spirits because they do mirror fireball damage. So that Mega Minion is coming in hot. Does Surgical have an Ice Spirit or something inexpensive to counter it, or is he going to get two hits off of? He does use the Mega Minion. All right, 
The pair of archers are going to get a Look nice log hitting the fire spirits as they come out. And a couple guards. Wow, that clipped quite a bit. That was a value log right there. Just the so, yeah. precise placement of all of these cards, the timing and everything. Fire spirit is one going to get into the tower? Never. Surgical will never let a fire spirit reach the tower. The knight's a good answer because it's not like your main component of shutting down a royal giant, so you could sacrifice him to go out like that. And then look at that. Surgical planting the princess, knowing that it's going to get taken out by the log, but he does not care. If that ice spirit reaches the tower, it does not. I think he was like, just experimenting with that first inferno placement. I don't think he's going to do it again because ever since, he has denied all damage. And... He's almost caught back up to the 1,200 remaining on the tower. Here comes the next Royal Giant. This is right here. This push will determine how much... Oh, I don't think... Why is that night there? One Fire Spirit hitting the tower. Inferno Tower right there. It is out of lightning range. So Ming does have a lightning, only able to lightning that Inferno Tower. That's something you don't really want to have to do. But look at that. The Royal Giant still chips it down with 100 and, I believe, 59 damage or so and then, a and shot. A and Royal Giant in the front. The Inferno in the face. How did they cycle back to the cards, back to back? Look at these decks, they're so flexible. And then Surgical going in for that pressure on the left. Miner getting two shovels in despite that Mega Minion bullying Three it. Three of really them. Hard. Three hits. 1071 oh, health. Oh, quad spirits and an ice spirit in the middle. Tower deals with all that. The Mega Minion, you kind of just have to let that hit your tower. There's no way you're defending that right there. The rocket goes down. 578, it's still going to take two different spells at least. At least a log. Oh, no, yeah, rocket just log minor. rocket will do it, but look at this. He needs to focus on defending first. Once he cycles back, going in for that miner. Oh, that's almost a half, it's more than a half health this Royal is such Giant. A close match. The Royal Giant going in, 500 health, going in for that shot, two hits, uses the log. He's trying to delay back to the rocket, but Surgical doesn't have enough elixir. That Royal Giant oh. finishes the game. He couldn't wow. get back to the rocket and the log. There was no way. That there Royal was... Giant took out with the Lightning and Mega Minion, the Inferno Tower, and had over like 60% health left there... still. There was just too much pressure from Ming for Surgical to afford That's... that rocket. Surgical did cycle back to that rocket, but he didn't have enough elixir for that. I feel like Ming really did his homework on knowing both of Surgical's decks in this tournament. He knew the oh, Expo absolutely. and the Rocket Cycle. And it's proving to be a menace, the Royal Giant. Yep. He wouldn't whip that out against any other player here. He would not. And he has been formulating these decks. Specifically, yeah. it's a deck to counter, not the Rocket deck, but to counter Surgical. Yeah. And we haven't seen a Royal Giant dominate a series like this. It's literally Ming's ability to play Surgical right now, guys. It's not even... Um, the Royal Giant, because Surgical, he's got to, I think he has to choose a third deck we haven't seen yet. I mean, right. maybe something like a Golem or, or um, a Minor Bowler or something like that, because this Royal Giant is just running reckless on him right Surgical now. Surgical playing a completely different deck. We haven't seen him play Skeletons yet. Minor in there. All right, we're in this match here. Yeah, we have not seen Skeletons from Surgical yet. So the score right now is 2-1 for Ming. Both competing for a grand prize of $5,000 right now. A hog ice spirit against the furnace. That's going to be an interesting interaction the entire game. Circle is playing a completely different deck from his expo or his rocket that we've seen in this tournament. And he brings skeletons. This is a quite cheap deck he's got going on here. Very inexpensive. Inexpensive. I wonder if Ming is still rocking that roll giant, or if he anticipated the counter to his counter. Yeah, this one, this is, this is like just we are observing right now and watching the mastery unfold and going to see what happens here. Look at that. The Ice Spirit and the Hog does not reach the tower with the placement of the log. I don't know. Uh, Ming didn't have art. Did he have art? Uh, yeah, he did, I guess. In the Royal Giant deck, he had archers. Was there? Yep. Yeah, they weren't the most prevalent card in the deck, but uh, definitely in there. Fire Spirit stealing some chip damage to that Mega Minion. It's not going to be able to. No one's committing do too hard right now. They're kind of just feeling it out. It's kind of scary approaching double elixir time here with no like major commitments or full blown pushes. That's right. Oh, you got to assume Hog Eye Spirit maybe coming in. No, Fire Spirit's all Royal Giant in the back. He does have that Royal Giant. He hasn't been playing it because he hasn't seen Rocket yet. Big push. 
one hit off of the tower. They're both frozen. This is the oh, Huggin, and he doesn't oh. get another hit. The Hog has only gotten one swing on each tower. Again, using the lightning on the Inferno Tower, that Royal Giant's gonna bypass everything, get one shot off. That just, it doesn't, it doesn't sit right with me that a Royal Giant and lightning get through an Inferno so easily, but we just are about to see a reduction in Inferno. It, it's, it is a 12 elixir yeah. combo, so. And then Surgical using go the lightning for the first time. Taking out the furnace. Hog lightning, nice. Miner going in on the right side. Look at the chip Oh, damage. there we go. Surgical's getting it together now, getting in the groove. Planting yeah. down a very well-placed furnace to pull the hog. Roll Giant, though, locks onto the tower and not the Inferno, so it's a little bit too late. The Skeletons did push the Roll Giant wow. onto re aggroing the Roll Giant with Three the Skeletons. Skeletons shove Goliath back, looking up at him like, can you please target Inferno? And then the Roll Giant going again, he doesn't have the Inferno in rotation quite yet. Log Inferno, no log Skeletons, we couldn't see underneath the time remaining there. Surgical doesn't have enough Elixir to play in uh, an Inferno Tower yet. Now we have to see his answer to the double Royal Oh, Giants. he plants the furnace, one tile to the left, so the hog, he didn't pick push. So that hog goes straight to that tower. One hit on. Wow, he gets a hit on it, and now he can take it, it out with lightning. It's within lightning, that's right. Guards distracted, that's no big deal. Surgical just needs to cycle back with the log. Another lightning right there. I'm waiting for that, and wow. he goes in. Surgical, hog lightning. The man who's been playing Rocket Cycle with his minor chip and Expo busts Hog Lightning out like he's been playing it the entire tournament. These are some <laughs> of these are the two best players of the tournament, especially the Swiss bracket that we've been using. That is insane. It's just two, two. When did he have time to play a 1,400 matches with that tech to get so good at it? Wow. And then, do you think he had it ready or like? was like, oh, it's a Royal Giant, I have to brrr, hog lightning. <laughs> I have no idea, but Surgical is ready to play right now. He could be playing his Expo deck, he could be playing his Hog Cycle Lightning deck, or he could be playing his Rocket deck, and Ming has to second guess himself if he is going to play the Royal Giant it. or not. We're jumping into Spell Valley. Spell Valley. At 2-2, two, two, a beautiful arena, tie game. Let's see who's walking away. The ESWC 2016 Paris Games Week, Clash Royale champion. Hog going in straight to that furnace. It wasn't pick pushed, but maybe Surgical did want that. Mega Minion doesn't even get any value, just gets sniped by the tower. Again what? with the Royal Giant. Yeah, he loves putting it right. He put it behind the tower because he saw the miner start digging, but it was for the wrong tower. Yeah. Royal Giant going in, supported with the furnace. Surgical does have an Inferno Tower right there, just out of range of that lightning. So Ming has the lightning from there. Oh. <laughs> One of the coolest things that just... Oh, reload, reload that. I've got my screen over here. We'll get that going. Royal Giant and Mega Minion doing massive damage. That tower is going to be going down right now. Oh my gosh, that Royal Giant wow. Mega Minion was unanswered and it had too much health left. This is looking like bad news for Surgical because Ming just has to play on the defensive right now. But there is 40 seconds left in overtime, until overtime starts. That's tough, though, because with a Royal Giant, that's probably the best situation you could ever ask for, being able to deploy it in Surgical's we, base. We haven't seen any of this scenarios happen yet, where that Royal Giant has absolute lane control. So he goes with the Hog towards the center, predicting a Furnace, but it's not deployed. One he hit drops the tower. a good game. Look at this counter push coming. Royal Giant in the middle, this, Furnace. This is going to be very stressful for Surgical right now because the Royal Giant could be planted at any time. I could expect it very soon once he has the Elixir. But now Surgical has to second guess himself and predict when the Royal Giant is going to be played so that he can play the Inferno Tower. Otherwise, it looks to be countered by guards. He, this just goes to show how on point that last game he played was with yep. this. If Guards oh. there to counter the Inferno Tower. That Royal Giant goes and sneaks past it, snipes it away from there. Full health at Mega Minion. Doesn't even need to use the lightning on it. Surgical's Mega Minion dies in the Mega Minion. The tower is taken out. One hit, two swings, the tower's down. 30 seconds left, there's not much left to do. Hanging out in double elixir as we approach overtime. It's not going to be in overtime on this one here. Surgical dropping good game. Looks like the only thing he really wanted was 
for Ming to reply, finally gets the thumbs up. Yep. So, these guys have played really well. Uh, this this last match does not reflect the intensity what? that this uh, entire series has brought. That and is intense right now. I was going to say in the beginning, we kind of had a little disconnect on our screen. We had to reload it. And what I was going to say is, the funniest thing is, a Royal Giant or a Hog right Lightning there. is going to win this tournament. And Ming just wins the Ming tournament with a Royal Giant deck. Takes the tournament for $5,000 right there. Ladies and gentlemen, Ming is the winner of the ESWC tournament. He could win in Shanghai and he could win in Paris. Winner of the Shanghai tournament, winner of the ESWC, beating Surgical Goblin by a very close match, 3-2. Somebody get this guy a contract. He's the, probably one of the hottest Clash Royale players in the world right now. Not even probably. He is. Ming goes for it all the way. Surgical, well fought to second place. And Such the fact that he changed decks so dramatically at the end there, just insane that he was able to pull together that win with that Hog Lightning. Just such an intense match. Ming definitely formulated that Royal Giant specifically for Surgical. Right now, this interview looks hot right now. He's just, Ming finally has time to speak. He's give me the mic. I want to tell you guys about this Royal Giant. It's so good. He was holding onto this deck. Keep dubbing, keep dubbing. And, and then I just thought, the Royal Giant will win the game. And you're right, it did win the game. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. <laughs> I don't want to dub because like, I'm not trying to poke fun. It's just funny because we don't know what they're saying. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't think it's even being broadcasted to our viewers. We're no. just kind of here talking over it. You can sort of hear the arena, though. It's lit. Here you have your third and fourth place finishers. Wow. So that, despite Surgical losing the finals, he still did play second place, winning $2,500. Good for him. He's still a winner. He deserves it. Wow. And then I think... We're just getting some more words from uh, ESWC here in the event in general. Yep. Double mics. Yeah, this one doesn't work. This one sounds better. I really like the Royal Giant because not only did it win, but it's really yellow when it comes to the hair on its head. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then all these things you see, rocket, rocket. I was tired of it. I'm going to nerf it myself. I have contacts. I'll make it happen. Thank you. Why does the Royal Giant have less health than a giant, despite it having chain mail? It has Inferno more Dragon, Baby Dragon. Well, the Inferno Dragon has that barrel, so he's flying a little bit slower. But oh. he has less health, and he has a helmet. Uh oh. You got to shout out uh, Rumham and Rainy for at the at the uh, coronation. They brought that up. Yeah. Fax stealing over here. One thousand, two thousand five hundred. Try bringing those to your late nearest bank and cash them. They'll look at you like you're All a crazy person. All the three person. musketeers are presenting them the prize. Wow, they really went up in elixir value. <laughs> look at that. Ming winning first place gets a gold medal. It's like the Olympics. Look at these guys. They've got medals and everything. Yes, this this is a... What is that? It looks like... The, oh, that's the uh, ESWC logo in gold and blue. Fifteen hundred. Like, wait, who won this? <laughs> <laughs> wait, you want two of them? No, wait, give me that back. Should have just left it to the three musketeers to deal with that stuff. Yeah. B Village, there winning third place. Did you win place. this one? Two thousand five hundred. Did you win this one? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want this? <laughs> oh man, Ming wants to go back home and say, "Can you multiply this by ten? Because that's what I want in Shanghai. Over a hundred thousand people involved." Yep. This was 128, so it scales proportionally. If not, this is even more when you blow it up to that. It, the scale is very fair for yeah. what it was. Surgical is by no means ashamed. If I was walking with 2,500, I'd be a winner. You're a winner nonetheless, OJ. Thank you. Your positive elixir trades have affected all. And look at that. Just like in Shanghai, he cracks his first smell after winning the prize. Wow. Kiss the cup. Kiss the cup. Kiss the cup. We know you can hear you. You can hear us, Ming. <laughs> a global hero brought to you all. Next time, someone from France has to make the top four. I will. I will. <laughs> so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Ming wins $5,000.
And there's just so many tournaments coming up. On November 6th, there's going to be the King's Cup, and then there's the CR Coronation, yep. the CR North and America tournament. And there's a North America one in uh, Toronto as well, right? Yeah, the Toronto one is yeah. the next week after the King's Cup. There's just so many It's tournament tournaments. season, baby. All right, oh, let's yeah. see if Royal Giants... <laughs> The chat. Let's see if these Royal Giants continue to be used. In my opinion, no. It was the counter to the player, not the counter to a card. Well, it was the counter to a card that the player would use. That's his card that is a choice if you use. Yeah. He, he, the Royal Giants just countered all of Surgical's comfort zones, yeah. where he had domination of the Expo, he had domination of the Rocket, and it just rocked everything. What a nice picture. Ming has probably multiple uh, Facebook profile banner <laughs> options to choose from now, or Twitter options. Yeah. Should I switch my profile picture to the Shanghai victory, or should I show my <laughs> ESWC trophy? Well, uh, this week I'll go with the ESWC because the Three Musketeers showed up. Oh, yeah. I hope they get some pictures with the Three Musketeers. This guy's a, a lively fella. He should host more events. Bringing this crowd to its feet in what was a great weekend. I'm not sure. I'm sure those guys are going to go off. I think the French casters might have some words with them. But I think that's pretty much it here from us. Yeah. That's like a huge thank you, ESWC, for bringing us out here. It Absolutely. was fun to cast. It was worth it losing the boys. There were some crazy matches. And now going forward into our personal tournaments coming up, we've got a good idea of what decks are working, what's going on. I have a feeling that the King's Cup that we're going to be participating in is going to be a lot more fun. and Yeah. And just like this, guys, with the final four on stage, there's going to be hundreds of people, or a few hundred more at that. I don't even predict a YouTuber to win because of how much skill we're going to see from the public and someone yeah. just come and dominate through. I, I'm just going to be there to have a good time. I do know five players that are going to be at the King's Cup, and those five players combined have over half a million tournament cards won. So I expect yeah. to see all of them to steamroll us YouTubers. Yeah, it's going to be fun, and I'm glad that all the YouTubers were able to hype it up to what it's going to be, but I don't really see one of them winning unless they really practice a lot. Yep, we're too busy making videos. Yeah, so... That wraps it up for today. That's going to wrap it up for today, today and the entire ESWC 2016 Paris Game Convention Tournament. Thanks for tuning in today. Stay tuned for more quality OJ. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for tuning in. Take it easy.